People from our community often share with us how important hope is in their journey. Sometimes it's the hope that there's another person that lives on this planet with your disease. Just knowing that there's a survivor, even though you've never met them, you're not alone. Sometimes it's the hope in knowing that there are dedicated people making scientific advancements and actively working towards finding a cure. And not only that, but we can walk alongside them and participate in clinical trials. And we can also do things like outcome surveys. Two years ago, they passed a 21st Century Cures Act. And part of that 21st Century Cures Act was $1.7 billion allocated for cancer research. Because of the experience that Dr. Armstrong and I had in CERN, we were able to create a grant submission to study rare brain cancers. And we were successful. When we presented this to the leadership of the National Cancer Institute, it was predicated on the success of CERN. So who would have predicted 10 years ago when we formed CERN that we, this would lead to taking CERN across a much broader scope? So it has been a remarkable effort. And it is that success, it is the collaboration, it is the bringing together of patients, caregivers, advocates, laboratory scientists, clinicians, all working together for a common goal that has led to what I think is one of the most successful collaborative enterprises, really holding to its name of the Collaborative Ependymoma Research Network. Strong, fierce, kind warrior. That's what I have become. Independent, happy, grateful, cancer free. That's what I will be. Sad, annoyed, scared, alone. That's what I have felt. Blessed, determined, triumphant, pain free. That's what I will feel. IVs, stitches, needles, machines. That's what I've seen. Paris, my friends, the whole entire world smiles without pity. That's what I will see. I will be cancer free. Everyone here has a different story, unique as a butterfly. What we all have in common though, is that each of us in this room have been touched by a brain or spine tumor. We all have experienced fear, frustration, perhaps anger. But at this moment, I feel only gratitude and hope. I hope that my butterfly, a symbol of resilience as well as freedom, will carry my wish that very soon there will be new treatments and a cure for brain and spine tumors. As my butterfly soars far away and out of sight, it carries that hope for all of us. Thank you.